good. I'm just, you know, it's pretty good. It's good. Yeah. You guys wanna watch TV? Sure! Yeah. Okay. Wow, I forgot, I forgot my weed. I, Richard Milhouse Nixon, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. And I won't commit any suspicious activity or lie to you in any way. I just love the new left so much i love expressing myself this too. makes him guys so oh preach it oh. sister he He's doesn't so understand us so boring oh, we God. need more liberals gosh darn those conservatives <laughs> nixon sucks yeah listen here kiddos President Nixon is great for our nation. His policy of new federalism brings back conservative ideas and states' his rights. Listen here, old lady. It's states' rights. States' his rights. The silent majority's really got it in the back. Mm hmm What's going on here? What are you doing? What is that? What does it look like we're doing? Will you calm down a little? God. You guys are going to ruin your lives. What are you doing? You don't know how to have fun and live free in your life. Will you stop shouting? You won't even be able to live a life because you guys are going to go it all up now. You know what? How would you know about all this stuff? You and all your conservative, silent majority, uptight, button up old people. You can't talk to me that way. Who do you think you are? Watch me. You live under my roof. You support my beliefs. Nixon is our president. Watch me walk out the door. Yeah. I got some real official looking mail today. What is it? <laughs> Looks like it's from the, the government. Hold on. Wait. It says I've been drafted into the the military? No, you nitwit. Let me see this. It's the military. Wait, but I don't want to fight in this war. Let me tell you a tip. Here's what you do. Pretend you're injured and they can't make you go. Good idea. Hey, go get them! Go, go! Hello? President Nixon? What's Vietnamization? You want us to withdraw U.S. troops and train South Vietnamese soldiers to achieve detente? Okay, whatever you say. Hey, it's time to whip you into shape. Sing, so Try, 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 do, try, try. A year. It's the weed. Hey guys, I'm back from Vietnam. Oh. Yay. Hi. Guys, We're... I deserve a proper welcome. We've, we've missed you, buddy. What? That's right. <gasps> well, what's the haps in the U.S.? Oh. Hmm? Okay. Breaking news. This just in, the Arab countries of Egypt and Syria have attacked Israel, and the U.S. has decided to lend its support to Israel. We must support this war in our new allies. of detente, but then he bombs Cambodia? Like, what the heck? All he does is lie to us. I don't trust my government anymore. Star spangled us on my foot. Oh, whoa. It's Steve. 
leave. I can't stay. Whoa. Wait. Hold on. What's Wait. happening? We're wearing the same clothes as them. He looks awesome like that. Sick. Eat the peace. Down with Nixon. Get out of Vietnam. Nixon sucks. I Please. hate Nixon. No. Well, nigh the political guy. Well, nigh. Well, 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 nigh the political guy. Why, hello. I am Will Nigh, the political guy. Today, we'll be chatting about the failure of Nixon and his efforts to end the Cold War. He tries to persuade the public to think that he's a good influence on the U.S., but in reality, he will bring America to its worst. If you ask me, that's pretty shady. Welcome to Political Talk with Nicholas Clack IV. Hello. Today we are talking about Nixon and his foreign policy to create better relations with the Soviet Union and China. This is an astonishing event in U.S. history and the first steps to creating detente. Nixon will be the president who ends the Cold War. Back to you, Chad. Wait, what is this movie about? Is this in the Watergate Hotel? Oh my god! What are they doing? This better not be because of Nixon. Have I got a product for you? New Ruffles Cheddar and Sour Cream. It's so delicious, just as good as the original. Now only $2.95. $2.95? It was only a dollar yesterday! That's outrageous! Stupid stagflation! This is all Nixon's fault! What's he doing? He ruined doing? America for <sighs> us! What is all of that ruckus outside? It's noon o'clock in the afternoon! Driving so slowly. It's 55 miles per hour. Oh. The slow speed limit. What the? What because the? of the OPEC oil embargo. Why did they have to stop selling us oil? Wait, who? The Arab countries. Oh my god, they ruin everything. I know. Okay, we can all just. They think they are. We can just blame it on Nixon. Let's be here. He probably just pissed him off or something. He's so bad. He doesn't do anything good for us. Hey, look, Nixon's on TV. Okay. I'll say this to the television audience. I made my mistakes. But in all of my years of public life, what? I have never profited, never profited yeah, right. from public service. He's I still lying. Seen. And in all of my years of public life, Stop lying. I have never obstructed He's justice. And I think, too, that I could say, that in my years of public life, that I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not they're presidents or crooks. Well, I'm not a crook. Oh, yes, you, you are. are. You're a President. Okay. To have served in this office is to have felt a very personal sense of kinship with each and every American. In leaving it, Whoa. I do so with this prayer: May God's grace be with you in all the days ahead. I, Richard Milhouse Nixon, formally resign as President of the United States. Finally! Woo! I can't believe Nixon resigned before we could have the satisfaction of impeaching him. I uh, know. He's such a wuss. 
Probably because he didn't do weed. Mm-hmm, that's true. Okay, who's gonna be president now? I, Gerald Ford, pardon Richard Milhouse Nixon for all offense committed during his presidency. I can lead the nation in this time of healing. Hey, did you guys hear? Jimmy Carter got elected as president. Jimmy Carter? He sounds familiar. He was our neighbor. Oh wait, the guy who grew peanuts right there, right? Yeah, no he's going to be a great Whoa. president because Nixon sucked and so did Ford, so he's not a corrupt politician. He's gonna be great. Look. That's so about time cool. we got someone good in office. Wow. He's nice. He's been here really hasn't done much. He's still the same from the 50s. Yeah, and I really want some peanuts. Right, where is Jim Jim when you actually need him? Where's the weed? I have some in my cabinet. I'll get some. Oh, Let's just watch TV. <laughs> Breaking news. Jimmy Carter has started the process of relaxing Cold War tensions in the Middle East. He calls this the Camp David Accords. Reporter Katy Perry is at the scene live. I'm Katy Perry, live at the scene with Carter on my first day. What, what's going on? Well, I, Jimmy Carter, am with here, Egypt, and Israel, and we're gonna make better relations here. Wow. Come on, guys. Be best friends. Oh, everyone's gonna love me. Oh, how adorable. Okay, here we go. Hey, Has anyone seen Steve? Steve has my car keys and never brought him back. I haven't seen him. Wait, look! I think it's Steve! Is that... What? Is Steve's Steve? a hostage? Oh my god! Breaking news! Rebel Iranians have taken four Americans as hostage. The known hostages so far are Steve Carell, Dennis Kemp, Chad Zwolinski. It's a sad day for America. America. Two of the hostages were sent back to America safe and sound. Chad Zwolinski and Dennis Kim are now back with their families safe and happy. However, I regret to inform you that Steve Carroll died and he will not be returning to us. This just in. It, it was probably the weed. <laughs> what? Wait.